Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode of Daily Scooby News. So Les Bragg, a British dive instructor who was working out in the Philippines, was arrested whilst in transit at Muscat Airport. Now according to some press reports, he was overheard swearing on hearing that his connecting flight to London actually had been delayed. To be honest with you, sounds about right. If you've come off a long flight, yeah. You know yeah. it's got a delay, all you want to do is get on the next flight so you can get home. You're gonna be there. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Oh, gosh darn it. Shoot. <laughs> um, unfortunately, in Amman, the use of bad language is considered a obscene act, according to the UK Foreign and Commonwealth Office. And what makes things even worse for him is that some believe that he may have had an alcoholic drink on his flight, so they might have been able to smell that on his breath, so authorities might be able to slap that on him too, because drinking in public in an Arabian country is a big no-no, so swearing and alcohol and it just is awful. So yeah, he was put in jail with no permission for contact from the outside world and apparently he was forced to sign a document in Arabic that he couldn't read, of course incriminating himself. He just admitted to whatever was written on the piece of paper because that's how some authorities work abroad. Um, and he's been in prison ever since in just awful conditions that you can only imagine. And now he's facing years in jail for getting a little bit flustered and swearing once. It's mad. This is absolutely madness. So in order to release him from jail, uh, his bail, I guess you could call it that, is set to 22 thousand pounds. This of course meant that a GoFundMe page has been set up by his friends and family to help raise the money needed. So before his arrest uh, in Oman, is that how you swear? I want to say Oman. 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 Yeah. Uh, Les was in, obviously in the Philippines helping clean up beaches from plastic pollution and he was travelling back home to look after his sick mother. Yeah, he, he like received news that his mum had sort of come down with something so he, he travelled back to the UK and this is like his stopover and yeah, now he's in prison. It's, um, so now the whole reason why we're actually talking to you guys about this is just to say that on your scuba diving travels, just be careful and always remember that you are a guest in another country. We have it quite nice in most of our countries, wherever you're watching. Uh, we have sort of freedom of speech, but- Shut up, Mark. But some of the countries that we travel to to go scuba diving, they have different laws to us. And the rules that you have at home, they don't matter abroad, and a simple frustrated outburst like this, in this case, could land you in jail, and not a nice British or American jail. We have Netflix. Yeah, a, a nasty jail, a really bad place that you never want to go to. So make sure that when you're traveling to another country that you read up on, just quickly, just Google it, or Bing it, or Lycos it, Bing. whoever. Ask Jeeves. Ask Jeeves it. Look at the local laws, the do's and don'ts, so you yourself don't get thrown in jail. And if you do, of course, never sign a blank document because they can just put whatever they want in there and you are admitting to it. I tried to do that with you that one time, it didn't work. Never sign anything that you don't understand, no matter how much they intimidate you. If you don't, if you can't get a translation for whatever's on the bit of paper that you trust, don't sign it. At worst case, you can write across it that I do not understand what is written on this page and then you can sign it. But yeah, and, and you can't, you don't always have the right to remain silent. In some countries, if you remain silent, that's like an admission of guilt. So just ask for your local rights. Um, try and get in contact with an attorney. You, you seem to know a lot about this, Mark. I, I did a lot of research after reading this story. <laughs> uh. mm. Of course, we hope Les is released soon, but yeah, just like Mark said, do some research on the areas you're traveling to or going through so this doesn't happen to you. Uh, we've posted Les's GoFundMe page in the comments, so if you want to stay up to date with this story or throw a pound or two his way, just click on that below. Yeah, so do you guys do any research on laws or big cultural do's and don'ts when you go on a scuba diving adventure? Does Les really deserve to be thrown in jail for no. just being upset and swearing at someone? No. I mean, granted, there's like the sort of, oh darn, my flight's delayed, and then there's like proper kicking off. I'm, I don't actually know where yeah, we don't know the spectrum it is, yeah. but still, he didn't kill someone. The way, the way it should have been done was, because he's not of that country, he's in an airport which is not, I don't know, it depends on whether he was on the airport, whether he left 
and then came back in. But that's like international, isn't it? They're always, well, it's a very gray area when it comes to airports. Yeah. But what it should have done is you can't swear, you need to calm down and then slap a fine on him, mark it against him. So if he threw, goes through there again and yeah. he swears again or has any, you know, any anything else, then that's when he gets put in jail. Yeah, just a mate, don't do that. That's yeah. not our laws. I know you're only in here from, from A to B or whatever. Mm. But don't, just don't do that anyway, yeah. Anyway, um, if you enjoyed this video and the contents within it, um, don't say that it's word. not that kind of content. Um, it's not that kind of video, but of course, to try and spread the word, yeah. why not give it a like, share it with your diving buddies as well, so they know. Especially if they're going diving in the Philippines or in there in that area as of now. Yeah. Share this video with them just so then they're up to date. Yeah. I mean, this is just yeah, around definitely. the corner from the Red Sea. It's, yeah. it's not a million miles away. Yeah. Um, yeah, of course, do all the social things, smash on the little bell icon to stay up to date with all things scuba diving. Thank you for watching. And as always, safe diving. Don't, don't swear. In and out of the water. Yeah. Don't, don't, maybe don't swear. Ever. Yeah, just be civil. It's that time of year again. That's right, the Diver Awards are back, people. Now, this year is a little different for us. We're, of course, up for Dive Retailer of the Year. So if you love our website, think our customer service team is plain awesome, and of course, enjoy our advice and review videos, we would love to have your vote. And as well, thanks to our Mark One Dive Torch, we are now in the Product of the Year category. So if you have purchased the Mark One Dive Torch, or or if you've just fallen in love with it, then please feel free to vote for that as well. To cast your vote, just click on the link in the comments. Thank you. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.